So tell us a little bit about Chipola's plans for reopening in the fall. Well, we have tried very hard with input from the executive council and faculty to come up with uh, various modalities that we think will suit the needs of almost every student. We hope there's something for everyone. We know that there is a wide variance in the level of concern about coming back to campus, that some students want to be on campus with an instructor in a classroom while others are wanting to be more cautious and taking their classes from home. So we have online classes. We have classes that um, are synchronous so that they can Zoom with their instructor and still participate and get that level of instruction that they would in a face-to-face -face class. We have face-to-face -face courses um, in a classroom, but the class sizes are limited so that they can social distance. We, um, we have uh, classes that are a hybrid. They meet face-to-face -face one day and then they Zoom the next day and the students switch so that we can keep the normal level or number of students in a classroom and still make it where they can be socially distant from each other. So we feel like that we've kind of got a little bit of everything, something for everybody based on their level of concern about being back on campus. Absolutely. So will there be any other requirements while on campus? Will face masks be required while students are in the classrooms? Any sort of extra sanitation stations? Anything like that that will be around campus? We, we have worked very hard to come up with all kind of safety precautions to make sure that the faculty and students feel safe when they come back. We um, have uh, a deep cleaning with the custodial crew. We've put up um, the plexiglass dividers in a certain areas like advising and library. Uh, there'll be some in the computer labs. Students will have to wear face masks. We're asking that they do that for the safety of themselves and the others in the class. Um, faculty will be required to wear those as well. Uh, for some classes, they'll even have shields for like science labs and for the language courses like speech and, and Spanish. They'll wear those face shields in class uh, in order to, uh, you know, successfully com complete the course uh, and be safe at the same time. So there's all kind of different, I'm sure I'm forgetting lots of things. Uh, we had a crew come in that um, fogged, um, I'm not sure Dr. Clements what, what you call that, but they fogged the classrooms and other areas for with a decontaminant that will help surface areas so that um, and it lasts for 90 days and it, it helps, you know, the surfaces be safe for students and faculty. Fantastic. So how is, is this affected enrollment at all for the college of uh, coronavirus? Are more people enrolling or fewer people enrolling or people that were already students, are they maybe thinking about taking a break? How has this affected, affected enrollment? Well, right now we seem like enrollment is down for the fall. For the summer, our enrollment actually ended up being more than it was last summer. So we were really excited about that. But for the fall, right now it's down, but we have a lot of applications that um, are missing some pieces and we're calling students to remind them to get those things taken care of so that they can um, go ahead and get that, those applications processed and we hope that we can get the numbers up for fall. Um, some of the, in making some of those phone calls, we see that the concerns are you know, my grandparents think it's not safe for me to be back yet, so we're suggesting those synchronous classes or online classes for those students. Um, and if they're missing documents, letting them know what they need to bring in and get that taken care of. Absolutely. So how important is it to have all of those options available for students to choose from? We think it's very important um, for the faculty and the students. We think that um, hopefully the numbers will come up if they see that there are safe ways to go ahead and further their education, that they don't have to stay out and, and take a break from their studies, that they can go ahead and get what they need and still be safe at the same time. And for those who want to come to campus and want that college experience, it'll be a little different, but it's still here and it's still available. So as president of Chipola College, how does it feel for you to, you know, begin to welcome back students in just a few short weeks? We are so excited uh, about starting the fall semester. We've been, we've had students enrolled in classes all summer. In fact, we had more students enrolled this summer than we have had previous summers. And it's just worked out so well. Uh, students have really enjoyed being online. They can get on Zoom, they see their instructor teaching, they can see their demonstrations, they can see their PowerPoints. 
the students can ask questions and interact with each other and interact with the instructor. And it's really just like being face to face, except you don't have to wear a mask. And if you're face to face, you have the same uh, great situation, but you do have to have a mask. And we do ask you to social distance because we want to open in the fall and we want to be able to stay open. And our students are excited about being face to face and we want them to have that experience the entire semester. We want our faculty and staff to stay stay. We've done a great job of that all summer. We've just worked out so many, so many ways uh, to keep everybody on campus and working together. Uh, our teachers have gone through great training. We bought new equipment. Uh, we bought um, new disinfecting uh, things. We bought teaching equipment. We can capture live. Uh, instructions uh, in classes and put it on video. We have all of our library materials accessible online. We have tutoring online. Uh, Chipola is well known because we have a tutoring center. Just walk in free tutoring for any class upon request. And that's always something that students who are exiting our campus put in the survey that they think that's a, a great thing that they had available here at Chipola. And we have uh, now tutoring online accessible to students in all courses and free, uh, just on, on uh, demand. And we're excited about that because that's a real plus. You know, one of our slogans that we've heard students saying is stay home, stay, stay well, and excel at Chipola College. And we're finding that students who had maybe anticipated uh, going out of state to school or going to another a large university are saying, hey, it's cheaper, it's accessible, it's available, and it's a good education uh, at Chipotle College. And so we're anticipating a, a really great fall and are excited. I just got off a Zoom meeting myself with 25 administrators on the campus, and that's what we were all doing is talking about how we're ready. We've been working and getting ready, and now we're anticipating uh, people coming on campus and, and just glad to Glad to get them back and get going again. Absolutely. So that was kind of be my next question. You know, what's some of the feedback that you've heard from your administrators, your professors, and from your students about some of these new things that y'all are doing this fall semester? You know, um, we have. I think things are so much more convenient uh, for students, and I think we're so much more student-centered uh, even than we've been in the past. Because um, going through the hurricane, uh, Michael, that we did and uh, now having to uh, go through the pandemic, almost every office, we've looked at all of our processes and we've said, how can we be more accessible? How can we be more convenient? And so, so many things have put online. You can order your books online. Uh, you can turn in your application online. You can uh, file for uh, your financial aid online. You can do your advising. You can make appointments and they'll do Zoom meetings with students online. So if you live in Holmes County or Liberty County, you don't necessarily have to drive over here for all those kinds of services. They're now available online at your convenience. And so we're really proud of that. We think um, that that's so important to our students because uh, their lives are busy. You know, many of them have jobs or part-time jobs and families and other responsibilities and you save gas and you save on your time. So we're just proud of how convenient and available and what a quality uh, administration and staff and faculty we have here. And it shows in our students and in their performance and what we're, we're able to, to accomplish. Absolutely, and then uh, same question I asked, let me just switch sides right here. Same question I asked just a minute ago um, to the Vice President. Um, how important is it that Chipola College presented, uh, I think it was four different options for learning this semester. How important was it to have that many options available for students instead of just pick between being in person and online and said y'all added two more options. You know, how important is that? I think having uh, five learning options for students is really, really important because uh, people of different ages and different health conditions uh, and different interests and different majors uh, can all consider their own personal situation when they're making a choice of, of how they choose to enroll in a class and what kind of class they want to enroll in. Many students that are going into health care want to have the class face to face because they have labs. And many of our workforce programs, they want to be face to face because the skills that they learn are hands on. 
and a lot of it is demonstrate competence and checkoffs. But then there are uh, many other classes where if you can interact with a lecturer and hear the lecture and watch a demonstration and then interact with other students, you feel really good about doing that online. And so I think it's just hugely important that we put students first and that we consider what's best for them. And we're just so happy that we're able to offer that. When we came back um, after uh, being closed down in the spring because of COVID, we had a reopening plan. We published Keys to Successful Reopening. Uh, that was really very helpful uh, to us. But then over the summer, having 900 uh, student, over 900 students enrolled and having staff and faculty back on campus, we have learned a lot. And so now in anticipation for August the 24th, we have another document uh, and it's the 2020 Keys to a Healthy Campus. And we have learned so much. And so all that information about how to, how to handle certain situations that might arise, all the things that we have done to make our campus safe and healthy and to keep it uh, safe and healthy are in that document. And we'll be distributing that on Monday uh, to all, uh, all students and all uh, staff. And we're also gonna post it on our website because we want everybody to know, beginning with the fall semester, just what all we've done and what all the procedures are to keep everybody safe. And I think they'll feel very encouraged um, and feel very safe to know uh, how much work we put into that, that plan to, to continue to, mon to monitor um, the situation and keep everybody healthy. Absolutely, and then actually, I really like what you said a minute ago about the different learning options and how they can pick for each different class. So will you just kind of go over that again? So with the different learning options, they don't have to enroll in all the same learning option. They can kind of customize their schedules. Right. Uh, one question that students have asked us is, uh, can they take various options uh, within their schedule rather than just having to do all face-to-face -face or all online? And the answer is yes, and that might be a very smart way to do it. For instance, if you're a biology major, you might want to take your biology class face-to-face -face because you need to be in a lab and you want to be actually in the lab using the equipment, using the procedures. Uh, but maybe you're taking an English class also and you feel perfectly comfortable taking the English class online and submitting your papers uh, on the computer online. And so uh, you can mix and match the learning options depending on what your major is and depending on what your schedule is. You might come to campus two days a week and Zoom the other two days a week. Uh, that's also an option. So many things to consider when making out your schedule. Uh, the content of the course, uh, the time of day that you would like to take it, your major, uh, who the instructor is, just uh, a lot of options out there for students. Like what, like I said, we're, we're really very student-centered and um, students can make some very wise choices given all the options they have. Great, okay, yeah, that was the other thing I wanted to ask because that was a good explanation of it. Okay, thank you.